Before I go into other questions, um, can you explain basically what Capture the Flag is? Uh, share, share a little bit about Snapper first and how it started and why it started. Cool, yeah, well, um, Snapper is you know, just about people shooting a photo stream on their phone now. Um, we thought it'd be cool if you could bring those photos together and make it easier to see other people's photos around you. So we've got a big map of photos, uh, pop it open on your phone, um, maybe you can see what's happening around you, um, explore your area. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I think Snapper originally came out of, um, it was around that time when like mobile gaming and stuff was just starting to happen and like real world gaming. So Capture the Flag actually kind of ties right back into the earliest concept. Uh, Cause you know, like Foursquare was maybe only just like starting to emerge like when, um, when we started Snapper. And we just thought it was really exciting. Like the idea that um, you've got like mobile devices now. So like the real world can be your kind of game game um, board, you know. Yeah. So how did Capture the Flag, because I understand that Capture the Flag is um, powered by Snapper, am I correct? Mm -hmm. So how did that, how did this sort of project came about with Capture the Flag? Yeah, well I mean we've got an API which actually lets people build their own um, like photo sharing apps off of Snapper. So it does all the hard work. Um, so Capture the Flag is a project built off the API um, and uh, I mean, we, we like uh, won a, a project, so we actually got money to build it. Uh, so we, we expanded the service to include gaming. Um, awesome. So with this API that you mentioned, is it so if someone wants to use your API for their particular app, they can basically come to your site and able to kind of grab that off you guys? Yeah, definitely. Um, you go to developer.sna.pr and um, it's full documentation. Um, you can sign up, create an app, and uh, yeah. Snapper being a real-time um, mobile sharing app, um, how does Capture the Flag app fits into all this? Uh, you know, I mean, Capture the Flag's got all the same stuff that's in Snapper. You can share photos to Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, check in on Foursquare. Um, you can pop into a map and see places around you and, you know, have a dashboard with all your friends. But uh, Capture the Flag, I guess, has more of a gaming component to it. So, uh, you know, we thought it'd be interesting to bring that sort of territorial thing in there. So. You pick a team, uh, the teams are all kind of cool, uh, and then uh, and you take photos in your favorite places and then it's going to kind of take them over for your team. So, Do do people create their own teams or do, um, how, how does that sort of work? Well, you know, at the moment it's just like we've made a whole lot of teams and we hope people pick the ones they like. Uh, you know, some of them kind of line up with different nations, uh, so it's kind of cool around the Rugby World Cup and stuff like that because you've got all this national spirit going on. Um, but some of them are just completely random, like the aliens, you know. <laughs> so it's kind of like, um, yeah, you know, so I think that's an interesting thing, you know. I think it would be really cool if people could make their own teams, but uh, we're sort of trying other angles as well because we've got like brands that are sponsoring teams. So it's kind of like, actually, if you join this team, you'll win cool stuff. Like, you might get, you know, a year's supply of V or, you know. So, so it's kind of, so you flip the model of how Foursquare, you know, if you check into a location, you get a mayor and eventually you get a drink or food where now you get to join a team mm -hmm. which potentially gets sponsored I don't know, by a well-known brand, for example, I don't know, McDonald's or something like that. And then Burger they Burger 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, um, so, so, so how does that work? So they join a team mm -hmm. and then you being part of the team, you get the perks of everything that's Burger Field? Um, well, there's a few different ways it works. I mean, like, firstly, the group-based gameplay is quite cool because if you think about Foursquare, you know, it's quite hard to be the mayor of anywhere now. You know, like there's so many people playing, um, and only one person can be it. So we, the group thing was an idea that you know, it's going to be easier for people to be part of the winning group in a, in a venue. Um, but then the sort of on the reward side of things, um, you know, like we've got deals running. You know, like Burgerfield, for example, like they've got a team called Hambo, uh, awesome. which is pretty cool. He's a little mouse guy. Um, and uh, if you join that team, anytime you buy a burger, you get like free fries with your burger. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But then there's also the winning, like the winning team in the new burger fuel joint will get like a free LMP with their yeah. thing. So there's kind of like, if you're in the winning team for a group, yeah, there's extra benefits. And then sometimes the brands will just offer direct rewards to their group. Oh, well, that's awesome. So what brands have kind of put up their hands at the moment and say, hey, we would love to be part of this thing that you guys are doing? Yeah, we've had a really good like collection of brands, you know, like um, 42 Below, uh, we're one of the first to get on board, Juicy Campers, uh, uh, Burger Fuel, uh, Moa Beer, uh, 
possibly go. I've got <coughs> two degrees. Yeah, two degrees mobile. <coughs> came on here. Awesome New Zealand. Yeah. Awesome. So, so with Juicy kind of thinking about moving to the States now, they potentially can open up a whole new market for you as well. That's true, yeah. I mean, um, you know, like I think we've been focused on New Zealand with this launch so far, but um, uh, there's no reason why it can't be global because, yeah. Awesome. So, looking at the app, it combines, like you said, more photos and the gaming aspects. In it, what I would like to know is what made you guys wanted to come up with this concept? Is it something that you've been, you know, done well in other, you've seen done well in other apps? Or is it a old game, you know, basically, is it the concept of that that you go, hey, that could be something that you guys can do? Um, you know, I mean, I think like the, the reason we picked Capture the Flag as a name was because we wanted it to be recognizable. You know, like this was a, a, a project which we, we pitched from someone else, you know. Uh, and we had a time frame, and we had a budget, you know, and it was a very short time frame. So we didn't want to try and create a whole new brand that wasn't recognizable. Like we wanted to pick something that was familiar with people. Um, and then I suppose like the gaming aspect of it also partly came from the brief. Like they wanted it to be about tribes. Um, so uh, that's where the sort of whole team aspect came from. Um, but you know, I mean, yeah, to us it's really exciting, like the territorial thing and just taking things over. Because not only is it a game, but it actually becomes quite interesting data. You know, like so if you can actually see where all the British people were like winning venues, yeah. then that's kinda cool if you're a British tourist in New Zealand or you know, like it kind of automatically brings like trending spots up to the top of the list for different groups. Is this at the moment capture the flag? Are you are New Zealanders embracing it or are you seeing other like basically other countries they how 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 are you seeing this basically people are uh, you know, um, knowing the name of Capture the Flag? Um, you know, I mean, we've, we've done most of our publicity at home so far, um, yeah. and there's been like quite a few people that have been quite avid about it. Yeah. Like, we're still kind of getting the word out, I guess, you know, like build up those downloads to really high levels. But um, yeah, like, it's kind of encouraging that the people that do use it tend to take a lot of photos. So, awesome. obviously, there's a hook, yeah. So, what's the key differentiator, um, you know, of your app to your, your apps to the other apps out there? Uh, you know, I mean, there's all the things you mentioned before, but. Uh, you know, I think the, the big thing for us is the idea of an ecosystem of apps. So, um, you know, there's so many different cool ways into photo sharing right now. There's so many different good filters apps, different kinds of um, photo sharing communities, brands that want to make kind of um, apps with user-generated content. Um, so the idea of our API is it makes it really easy for people to make their own, like, self-contained service. So we want to make Snapper a big ecosystem of apps that, that basically still bring all that content together into a central channel but have people be able to make their own self-contained communities. Awesome. So, you know, I had a chance to kind of play around with your app and that is really, you know, it, it reminds me of a similar app um, with the whole, you know, photo and close proximity sort of things. It reminds me very of, you know, very, it reminds me of, sorry, uh, about color. So, you know, and I, I, I heard about it, that color came out later. You guys were basically you know, leading the way in this kind of close proximity um, photo sharing. So you want to kind of shed some light on that to our viewers? <laughs> well, you know, yeah, there's some definitely <clears throat> some similar it ideas. It came about a year later. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's not a race. I, yeah, we didn't ever feel like Snapper was an idea that's like, no one's had this idea before. We, we always felt it was about execution um, and different strategies. And I mean, Color, Color had some really great technology behind what the way they're bringing photos together and working out um, social networks. Uh, but it's almost too complicated in some ways, I think. Uh, whereas ours is very simple. You know, it's really just geotags and time, um, and that opens up other possibilities, like having an API and, and doing things like that. So um, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I think Color is actually a really exciting company, to be honest. Um, I think they made a few like slightly bad decisions along the way as well. Like I don't really get what they're doing with Blue. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know. It's cool. We just wish we had like $41 million like that. <laughs> <laughs> so talking about $41 million is, at the moment, how is Snapper being fun? You know, moving forward, <coughs> you guys need to be funded to, to take it to the next level. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of different like upsides to being funded. You know, obviously having money and being able to pay people's wages is great. Um, you know, we've been mainly based on project funding and self-based, um, self uh, self-raised capital. Um, so we are going to be looking to raise some money soon. I think we, we should be able to do that. Um, but uh, probably not $41 million, you know, we're not oh, quite high, rock right? star <laughs> enough yet for that. But uh, yeah, 
it also helps just being hooked up, you know, like um, all these people that are funding companies, they're connected in the valley, you know, they're influential people uh, and they help you, they help you get coverage and they do things for you. So it is important to have them on your side, definitely. So the question from a user's perspective is, so when someone downloads this app, um, what is the experience the user will, you want them to take out of it? Cool, yeah, well, I mean, the first thing that happens when you download the app is you get to pick a team. So you're going to scroll through a whole pile of cool artwork. Um, our, our favorite guy, Padlet, did some great characters for us. Um, and, uh, you know, you can link your Facebook and Twitter accounts and stuff like that. Uh, and then it's just a case of, um, you know, as you go around with your phone, everyone's shooting photos these days. So, you know, it kind of aims to bring something a bit extra to that experience. So rather than just using a Facebook app to share photos, maybe use this to share photos. They still go to Facebook, they can still go to Twitter, um, and you get a kind of cool little game thing going on too. You know, so. Awesome. So at the moment, is it on both iPhone and Android, or is it how, how, which platforms are you guys on? Uh, yeah, no, we're on iPhone and Android. Uh, we built everything in HTML5, so it's kind of like this new thing, but you can do kind of cross-platform development. So if you go look at our mobile site or an online demo, it's running the same code basically as our iPhone app and our Android app. Yeah. So, pretty so, so talking about cross-platforming, you, you mentioned how you can link Twitter and Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, is there other platforms like, you know, such as Tumblr, who you know, who, who obviously loves to share photos. Are there sort other sort of kind of social platforms integration? Yeah, well, we've got four. Like, I think the big four at the moment. We've got Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Foursquare. Okay. Uh, so, you know, you, you, when you share one image, you can just share it to all of those things if you want. You can just toggle them on and off. Cool. So, so if people are interested in wanting to know more about you guys, um, you know, we, how can they get in touch with you? And also, is this app ready for download in the App Store? Yeah, it's up there now. It's all oh, working cool. beautifully. Uh, Best way to uh, find out more is um, if you want to check out Capture the Flag, go to the website. Um, it's Capture the Flag with a dot before the AG. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can't afford the dot com yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's just trying to make it shorter, really. But, um, and different. And different, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, snapper, sna.pr. Um, you can like click through that. There's an About Us page and find a contact and give us a yell. We're on Twitter as well, we've got the snapper handle. Just the last question to kind of end everything off. I should have asked this in the first start of the, um, start of the video. Um, so what are your guys' roles? You know, um, Rowan and Eddie, so you, you guys want to quickly <coughs> kind of let people kind of know what your roles are within the company? Oh yeah, let Eddie start. He does everything. <laughs> <laughs> as you can tell from the interview. Oh, nice. Eddie's the man behind Snapper. He's the yeah. man behind Snapper. <laughs> He's the man beside the man behind Snapper. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're free enough. So, well, I do all the like, brand stuff and marketing. So, I've been here in New Zealand for the last three months and Brian's been off overseas. Wow. So, he gets the time job. Wow. So, actually, so it's not so much true. I mean, right now I work like 18 hours a day <laughs> <laughs> in New York. It's pretty exciting. But, yeah. Oh, so that's pretty exciting. So, you got. You, uh, Eddie, that you're here basically building the brand in New Zealand, and you've got you, Rowan, that you're in New York, you know, basically where you get to rub shoulders with, you know, everyone and anyone in the tech industry and kind of put the name of Snapper out there. So is that is that how it kind of, you know, you're basically killing two birds with one stone here? Well, yeah, yeah part of Eddie being like here that. was, um, you know, like we had all the stuff to do that was pretty locally focused as well. Like I think ideally we'd probably both be spending some time in the States. Um, but yeah, it's important to be over there and there's so many cool things going on. I mean, it's just a much bigger tech scene. You know, like you've got um, hack days every weekend where people are building cool things and a lot of good developers are getting together. Um, and it is still kind of like quite a small, like tight knit community. You know, it's not that hard to like, maybe not get to the very center of it, but you know, to get to the point where you're close to all the, all the fun action, yeah. Is that kind of concluding uh the video so I just want to say thank you for taking your time again for being on our spotlight on series and you know all the best from ourselves here at social media and and also I'm sure from the audience as well for you know in your endeavors and hopefully you get more than 41 million dollars <laughs> series so thank you again guys and hopefully you know whatever you do from here on in kicks us cool man and hopefully we get a bit, bit of sleep soon as well <laughs> awesome cheers guys <laughs>